Hey y'all, YouTubers. Um, I have a story to tell. I don't know if anyone's up to stories or if they care for them. And this is a rather unusual story. Um, back in August of 2004, I was in given I was sitting here watching TV I'll just tell a thing but I was sitting here watching TV one night in the dark something I don't usually do but I wanted the theater effect <laughs> whatever this was in 2004 and something I was compelled to go into the kitchen where my typewriter had set and get some typing paper and come back in here and I got it and I come back to the living room and I threw it on the coffee table in front of me with the pencil that I had <clears throat> gotten asking myself why did I just do that and I went back to watching the movie I was uh, watching and sometime Sitting there, I could not tell you when, but I picked up the paper and I picked up the pencil. Now, I have not shared with y'all that I've written poetry for many years. And, um, 40, 42 years, whatever, for a long time. And, um, I'm not published as far as my own book, that is. I am in a couple of books. And, um... Won a gold medal of honor out in California that I had to raise money to go out there. We're talking eons ago here. <laughs> this is far distant past. But anyway, I hadn't written for many years. and um, But in 2004, I ended up being given this poem by Heavenly Father. Now, y'all might scoff at that. I don't care. I know what transpired, you say. And I won't get into great detail, but I will say this. I picked up that pencil, and I started, dict I was being dictated to, and I was writing the words down so fast that I practically wore a blister on my pinky finger on my left hand. And, um... I couldn't comprehend the words that I was writing, or at least the sentences that were flashing by so fast as my hand was writing the words. So I couldn't comprehend everything of what was being written until I got done and I finished, or he finished, but I finished writing what he wanted written. And I read it, and I sat here and cried. It was around 12.30 a.m. that I wrote that for him. And I couldn't call anybody at that hour. And I guess that's why he gave it to me at that hour. He wanted me to think about it. <laughs> but I was compelled to send that out to all the TV evangelists. John Hagee, Creflo Dollar, Paul and Jan Crouch. I used to watch all those people, you see being a recluse that I am. And um, I did what he told me to do. My dad, however, I called him the next morning and told him and read it to him. And I was already told what to do with it, all right? I was already told what to do with it. Or, uh, and I don't say told as in verbal he didn't speak to me telling me, hey, Carol, I want you to send it to all the TV evangelists. He gave me that sense that I was to do so. Because when I got done, I thought, hey, and I said it to him. What am I, or asked him, I said, what, what am I supposed to do with this? And then it hit me that I was supposed to send it to all the TV evangelists. No one else, just them. And I called my dad the next morning and read it to him. And of course, I'm crying by reading it. And I said, Dad, why would he give it to me? And 
I, ne I never did really figure that one out. <laughs> you know, nor was I told. By God, Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Yeshua. So I ended up um, delaying because my dad ended up saying, you need to hold on to it. Hold on to it and pray about it and, you know, all that. Well, I held on to it. I don't recall for how long. It wasn't too awful long. Maybe a month or so. I don't know. I really don't. And I eventually went ahead and mailed it to all of them. I didn't even have a computer back then. I mailed them snail mail, ASAP. Um, so I never did hear back from them. I wasn't expecting to, however. And I told them that I did not uh, take uh, or lay claim to this poem that he gave me, and I never shall. And if anybody takes it and tries to put their name on it, they'll answer to God for it. But it was just my hand that wrote it. But it was given to me to write. Every, every word was dictated to me to write. So I wrote it. And my dad had delayed me. And at the end of reading this, I will tell you why. Okay? So, here's the poem. I'm going to videotape it so you can read it for yourself. But I'm going to read it if I can see it. <laughs> that is. Okay? I'm going to video try to videotape it. Alright, and read it at the same time. And I'm going to have to look over the camera to do that. Warning. Time is of the essence. The prophecies foretold are true, for the Bible tells no lies. Heed them as your warning, for Satan will disguise. He once was the highest angel in the kingdom of your God, but he wanted man to worship him, so I turned him out with rod. Look toward the eastern skyline, for this be whence he'll come, with his heavenly Wait a minute, let me put my finger there to keep my place. With his army of heavenly angels, riding a horse of white when done. Are you willing to bet your very soul on the teachings you by now should know? Are you truly prepared when it is your moment, your very time to go? I rapture all those who are ready, who believed upon my son, and asked with your own voice out loud, for his spirit within you come. If you've not done this, your time is running out. Kneel down right now and bow your head, so you'll not be left out. Have you seen the recent movie I directed to be made, laying bare things he withstood, foretold to the human race? In vivid picture form to see, his sacrifice, time is truly running out, no time for you to pace. There shall be all the plagues of olden day, for all who's left behind. Nowhere will the place exist on earth to hide, for anyone to find. Spiritual principalities unseen by the human eyes is the deepest, darkest evil form which you've yet to recognize. I am love, yet I am blamed for the woes of this your world, when all I've done is loved you with my wisdom lain unfurled. The angels are among you to protect you, to protect and guide you on your way, as you are to obey my commandments in everything they say. I've given you words of wisdom, if you would only read, for I've proved for I've provided you with everything you need. Each brutal stripe he suffered upon the body he did reside, showing the gruesome punishment man inflicted until he died. Let me scroll down. Those six-inch long thorns shoved upon his head was for your crowns of glory each drop of blood he bled. The holes put through his hands and feet excruciatingly, 
all for the love I hold for you, my beloved family. Could you this day take the pain to which he willfully suffered, or watch the tears cried out by your grievous mother, sent to teach the goodness of me, your loving Father, yet to read my will for you all, to love as Christ your brother? For your sins he did bleed, so they would all be covered. He vowed to stick with you closer than a friend, yet I warn you all, now's the time to begin. Things happen behind the scenes, which for now you cannot see. I am the voice speaking the urgency at hand. Please pay immediate attention to the cries throughout the land. You must gird yourselves my armor, for my words they do protect. For on my holy right side, his throne is set erect. You may choose to scoff at the warnings I bestow, but beware you're not caught off guard, and your soul souls be sent below. The time is of the essence for you to kneel and pray, to be forgiven of your sins before that judgment day. You must see the innocence, justice, and freedom taken from the land. Because of Satan's evil, his inevitable ruling is at hand. He's here to kill, steal, and rob you of all which I have given. Don't you realize I gave my only son so you could keep on living? Abundance, peace, and joy are just a few of my precious gifts. But the fact I gave you everything, your spirit it should lift. Okay, y'all. Well, I got through that without crying. But my dad and my youngest brother, who's now passed away, both of them, were Masons, Freemasons. And I never knew that until two years before my dad died. And, um, well, I actually, I don't think it was two years before I knew that my dad was. And I didn't know anything about Freemasons. And, but my dad, the evil part of the Freemasons, um, I feel, is why my dad deterred what Heavenly Father had told me, and that was to send it to all the TV evangelists. And it was three years after that that I kept asking. Um, my dad got saved. Uh, I mean, he was saved before the Masons and then got into the Masons. And um, um, anyway, long story short, I think he's all right. I'll put it that way. And... Um, My brother, however, I, I worry about him, whether he's going the right place or not. He was a 33-degree Mason. And that breaks my heart. But anyway, it took about three years before I ever got an answer back. As to why he had me send that to all the preacher men and women that's on TV. And he ended up coming by. He finally spoke to me and told me that it was to be a testimony against them. And when I sent a cover letter with this poem that he dictated to me, um, it, it told them, you know, that this was for the leader, uh, the, uh, the head pastor, and yada, yada, you know. And I never heard from not one. And I put my address and my phone number on it, you know, and uh, never, not that I was wanting to hear, and I, I, I wasn't expecting to hear from anybody because I knew this was way out of my realm. But I've never, and shall I, I shall never lay claim to this poem, and I warn anybody 
that tries to claim this for their own and plagiarize Heavenly Father's poetry. You'd be real wary about doing that as just warning. You know, you can do what you want to do, but I'm telling you, God himself dictated this. And my purpose of putting it up there now, I was reading it to a friend tonight on the phone and shared that with her, and I won't mention their name, but um, I shared it with her, and I sent her a copy of it, and I told her when I was reading it to her, I got almost halfway through, and I was it was impressed upon me to put it up on YouTube in a video that it might draw some people to his glory. So that's what I'm doing. So. A prayer. Goes with this video. That whoever. This is meant to be for. Or reaches out and touches. Their heart. And, you know, it causes them to repent and give their heart to the Lord. May he bless you. May you always walk in his light. May he protect you. And may his blood wash over you. May he bless your home. And it's not going to be easy to walk in his love. I know this firsthand. But to be with him forever. And that'll be your choice. Anyway, I just felt compelled that I needed to do this. And I'm sure there's those out there that'll condemn me for doing this. I'm nobody special. Believe me, I'm not. I just do how I'm guided. And I'm guided to do this. So God bless y'all. Take care.